Hello and uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Of course, this is a new year and uh, this year we are starting with the big things. Eh? Starting with big things. So what is this? So this is the Von VES3505 ES. Uh, a very big thing it has five speakers the inputs So this is the hoofer, they say it is a 350 watts, you can see it there, and it costs a lot of money, see 27,000, 26, 23. So now, what happened? Let me open the photo. You see this woofer, uh, the display part eh, is kind of a touch screen. Eh? It's a touch screen display. So for our case here, <laughs> there is no display. I don't know what happened, but the person who brought it here, there is no display. So he has asked us if we can put this thing back here modify because to find this touch screen one eh, it is very difficult to find it so I've already established the wires to put them for the this is for the power and this is for the audio input eh. but uh, this thing is not working so I've requested for a new one and it is on the way coming so the main point of doing this video, we wanted to do a technical review of this sofa. We want to see what is inside it. Because this thing, first of all, it is sold a lot of money. Secondly, it is very heavy. Secondly, it is very heavy. And it is also very big. Let me show you the size. The sofa itself, they say it is 10 inch. Of course it is more than 10. You can see this is around 11. So it is about 10. The length is over 1 feet 16 inches. The height see the same, almost 16 inches. And then the width is about 10 inches. So, I want us to see what is inside that is capable of pushing these five speakers and then this big subwoofer. And then finally, we'll do a sound test. So this is the inside part, uh, this is the transformer, it is uh, 24 times 2 at 4.5 amperes, that is the yellow, black, yellow, these two yellows and a black, one black, yeah, this is the ground. So two yellows and black will give you 24, 0, 24, then we have 15, 0, 15. That is the blue, black and blue, these blue ones, and they have 3.8, then we have 10 volts, 0 0.5 amperes, these are the green ones, green, green. So this is the, now I've modified this thing by giving 7812, these are 7812 here, 
that provides power all the way to this part. The rest are just audio inputs. So inside, and there is the speaker, the subwoofer is there. Now, this is very big thing. It's a 4 ohm, 100 watts. I think 100 watts is the RMS. So let me position so that we can see. So this is the inside. It has two motherboards, this one and the other one here. So this upper motherboard consists of a SMD. You can see everything is there. Don't worry about these wires. Eh? There were some repairs being done. So this upper motherboard deals with the encoding, decoding, transcoding, producing these ones. Eh? So let's check the other part. Now this one. Eh? So as you can see, there's this part. The mono or the subwoofer. Seventy-two ninety-four. It was to use seventy-two ninety-four. This is also seventy-two ninety-four. Well, this is another view. That is the subwoofer at the far end. And now these three, one, two, and three. These are seventy-two. Let me zoom. Is uh, I don't know if you can see. Is a seventy two sixty five. Yeah, there they are. So these three, they are responsible for the mid ranges. The 7265 and then the further one this one here alone the 7294 is there to push the subwoofer so they should have been two this is the subwoofer and the other part eh? but you see it is not there you see this one was soldered this one was not soldered So they have used just one. They should have used two in a bridge mode. Of course, it should have produced more power. But this one is still enough, eh? as we'll do the testing. So what happens? These 24, these two yellows and one black, they are the ones going here. <laughs> that is the fuse. They go all the way to the subwoofer. And then the other 15015, they go all the way to the other three. Yeah, the 7265. Two greens, these are the 10 volts. They were there to power on the display, the front display. You know, the USB, the USB, the memory reader, the volumes, whatever. But you see now that one got damaged. And uh, this type of display. This one, they cannot use 10 volts. They normally use 12 because they have a 7805 here. So that's why we ended up tapping from the 15 volts. That's from this side. Eh? The 15 volts, we tap them to the 7812. So that now the 7812 can take it all the way to the front for this part. Yeah, so that's it. Let me close. Then we do a sound test. Eh? About the power, you see this thing has three seventy-two sixty-fives, eh? and one seventy-two sixty-five can produce twenty-five plus twenty-five. So one is powering these two, the other one powering these two, and the other one powering these two. So twenty-five times one, two, three, four, five, six. That's one fifty watts. Eh? And then the subwoofer is there. 7294. This 7294 can push up to, I think, up to 100 watts. You see this one? Because it is only one. So 150 plus 100 
will give us a RMS of 250 and they are saying it is 350 but I won't blame because there is that one port eh, that does not contain the IC if they could have used a bridged 7294 then it could have added the other remaining 100 to make it 350 but it's all good yeah I've uh, modified this small RCA so that we can connect it to here before the display comes. Then we plug in the RCA from the PC. Then we test. What I've done, eh, I've placed it somewhere close to the ground. And uh, of course, there is a small fan to facilitate cooling. It is there. Uh, because I don't have this uh, mid range. Eh? I've used this small amplifier to give me the mid-range speakers. You know, we cannot just play without the mid-ranges. Then I'm playing an uncooperated music. So let me put the bass on. And then now we test it. Eh? So let me start the song. That rattling eh, is caused because I've pushed the subwoof almost to its limit. So if it is at night or you don't want more bass, eh, you can just play with it well, like this time. You can hear now there's no rattling, but at low music. night you can play just some low volume like that one it will perform very well eh? but if you want if you want to shake things just add more volume eh? and it will shake everything uh, thank god that the brothers on the rise now
So how is the experience? Eh? <laughs> what I would say that uh, this sofa is great. It is producing very great sound, loud. And just remember that is just 100 watts. What if it could be the 200 that we are talking about? So what you need to know, you'll be in problem with your neighbors eh? because this thing rattles everything. Whether it is the iron sheets, whether it is the doors, whether it is the plywood, a plywood like this one. But at the end of the day, it produces good sound. It is upon you to set it well. Yeah, so we can do more testing. See? I think it's very powerful. it thank you for watching the video and please subscribe to make the channel grow eh? yeah